Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today guys, we're going to review one of the Shea Moisture line and it's the Manuka Honey line. I bought this a few weeks ago. So guys, let's get started. Let's start first with the conditioner. I know usually you shampoo your hair first, but I've been trying this for the past couple of months. I love the way my hair has been feeling. So this is how I'm gonna show you guys how I use this. The first thing I did was take the conditioner to put it on my ends. Now I did go ahead and hot oil my hair before I did this. So my hair is covered, is protected with the oil treatment that I did for an hour and didn't want to do this. And this conditioner, it's super thick but fluffy. I love it. It doesn't feel heavy thick. It's so nice. You can feel how nice and soft your hair is once you put this in. And I only put this on my ends. I don't put it on my scalp. So that way my ends are getting conditioned. It's hydrating and it goes in and actually gives my ends the moisture that it needs and with that i'll go in and put the shampoo on the roots only so with these two i put them in together the shampoo is super watery which is great the texture feels so nice when you actually put this in you feel it that it's cleansing your hair without it stripping anything away so you're getting a good cleanse with this while this is moisturizing your hair Together, they were great the way I used them with conditioning the ends first and shampooing. After I put these two guys in, I use this little scalp massager, guys. Always use this now to make sure that I'm getting a good scrub out of it. While the conditioner is doing its thing working at the ends of my hair, keeping them hydrated, I'm massaging the shampoo into the scalp. It feels so nice. My hair feels refreshing and it feels so soft. I'm washing and conditioning the ends. I can feel when I'm touching it how soft my hair already feels, how nice it feels already with just these two. So I'll go ahead and take care of that for about three minutes and work the shampoo in my scalp while the conditioner is getting a chance to work on my ends to get it hydrated, get it nice and soft and working so that way I can clean my scalp and condition it at the same time. So after that's done guys, rinse that out. My hair looks and feels great. I love the texture of it. It looks so healthy. That's my big thing about it. It's how nice my hair looks. It already looked like it had a full treatment on it after just conditioning and treating it. Now, the next thing I will do is go in with my mask. Now, I already know how great this mask is, but after you wash and condition your hair with these two, this feels even better. It soaks in a lot easier. And the mask, even though it is so heavy, you guys can see this mask is super thick and heavy. When you put it on, after you get a good shampoo and conditioning, your hair feels super, super nice. One thing I do now, of course, is because I didn't want any of it on my scalp directly, I usually would put this on the edge and some in the middle part of my hair because the mid part of my hair tends to be a lot more drier. But after that, you put this on. I leave this mask on for about 30 minutes under a shower cap. You can put a heat cap on if you want to or sit under a dryer, but 30 minutes just with the shower cap feels great. I don't have to do anything extra. And I notice how much better it actually go ahead and sink in. And when I take it off, my hair feels so nice. It's so soft. It's so hydrating. So I can see how washing it with the shampoo and conditioner first and putting the mask does make a difference of how nice your hair is because how clean and soft it leaves your hair before you even put this mask on. Now, after I washed that mask out, guys, I went ahead and put this leave-in in. This is, has, it is an intense hydrating leave-in milk. First, I want you guys to notice it does say milk, but this is how thick this product is. It is super, super thick. Now, one thing I want you guys to know about this is even though this product is so thick, it's actually pretty light. It's almost like a marshmallow texture, but with that cream and it actually feels really nice on your hair. If you have fine strands like I do and you have high porosity hair, this is another great product. If you guys remember the TGIN leave-in I showed you, that one's pretty thick, but it is a little bit heavier size compared to this one. This one is thicker but not as heavy. And again, it locks in moisture like crazy in your hair. Once you wash your hair, you put this leave-in in and you go in with your oils and butters, your hair will stay moisturized for days, guys. This, again, I've only used this twice a week. I just started using it, so I put it on twice. That's the only time I've needed to put it on because my hair, it stayed moisturized. I didn't need to add any more products. So that's the great, great thing about it. So guys, <laughs> that's the last product out of this line. And I do wanna say, after using these together, I can definitely tell you guys, this is a 
great, great line to use if you are having any issues with moisture, if your hair is dry, it's unmanageable, definitely go and try this Manuka Honey line because this is going to help you with so many issues, tangles, dryness, actually retaining length. I noticed that I did not have a lot of breakage when I was doing wash day with this. I do my best usually you're ready to not have a lot of breakage on wash day. I detangle before, but I definitely noticed it was a little bit less of breakage than I had before from my last previous wash day. So this is a great, great line to use. Now with winter coming, I know I'm reviewing this a little bit later in the year. Guys, if you remember, honey is a humectant, so it does do better in the hotter months than it would in the winter months. I am in Florida, so it's still quite hot down here right now, and it's going to be hot for a little bit. So I will be using this a couple of times, but once it gets really cold where I can feel where the weather has definitely changed, I'm going to be using a different product because I don't want my hair to dry out because of the honey. But that's pretty much it for this line. Nothing bad to say, guys. Great, great product. Absolutely love it. I'm going to keep buying it. This is one of my new favorite leave-ins. Now I have three of them that are my top three leave-ins and they're all pretty thick products. So I'm excited about that. Now I know that my hair does so good with the thicker leave-in instead of the lighter watery one. So I'm going to be looking for those more type of leave-in to use. So that's it guys. Great review. Love the product. Shea Moisture always. I haven't gotten disappointed in the Shea Moisture line yet. So I'm excited about that. And if you guys haven't seen guys, I do do skincare now. If you look at some of my videos i recently did a shea moisture haul where i got a lot of skincare products so that's why i love their line they're they're always great i'm excited that this line did not disappoint i had so many benefits from it and my hair looks so much better healthier and i absolutely love the end result of how it turned out and how my hair is looking so i did go to the store to get this at walgreens but you can find this of any store to carry any of the hair care products also i do see this they have it online on amazon and of course you can go to the shea moisture website and get them as well and I will have links for you guys down below if you need to go online and get these purchase them and that's pretty much it if you guys have another Shea Moisture line that you like that's been great for you that I haven't tried yet I know they have a couple of new lines please comment down below and let me know how about them why do you like them and what's the best thing about them that are definitely worth a try so thank you guys so much for watching if this video helped you out a lot give it a thumbs up of course if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you know when I have have new videos out leave all of your comments down below guys and go over and watch my last video